Ricardo Sandoval never thought he would be the mayor of El Espinillo, a small town in Chaco province in northern Argentina. Sandoval is a member of the Toba peoples, the first mayor in the country who comes from an indigenous group. We want them to know that we are like the white people, that we can rule ourselves. The fact that I was elected is a big move, but we need much more. Some ministries are still ignoring us. In 2007, this community was filled with disease and undernourishment. Children were dying. But people here tell us that the situation has improved since then. There is now a new hospital to treat them, and many of them have benefited from the government's social plans. But Celedonia Alegre, who has been diagnosed with tuberculosis, tells us her community is still in need. I've been suffering from tuberculosis for years, and people give us some medicine in the hospital, but we need much more. Nobody comes to our houses to check on us. We are still forgotten. The problem now is that many communities have been displaced by large agricultural companies that have bought off most of the best farming land in the area. Agribusiness is one of the reasons why Argentina's economy has recovered since the crisis of 2001. But what has saved the economy on one side has also condemned some indigenous groups. Thousands of members of the Toba community have come to the city because they have lost their land. They have ended up living in extremely poor neighborhoods like this one, where they continue to live as a community. But they're struggling to adapt to life in the slums of the provincial capital Resistencia. Luis Garcia, the chief of this group, says that he and his people are facing new problems. We are asking for work now for the Toba community for scholarships, for shoes. Our teenagers are suffering from drug and alcohol addiction. In the city, we are still discriminated against. Despite some assistance, the Tobas are still amongst the country most vulnerable. They continue to fight poverty and discrimination. Human rights groups say that more measures are necessary to protect them from losing what little land they have left. <laughs> Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Chaco, Argentina.